it's finally soon! Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So I know I promised a bunch of people that this hat would be out soon. It's soon! My favorite, easiest bucket hat in the world. And today is the day. So I made this hat out of this. 236 yards in here of this really fun one. I think it's called Rainbow. Yes, this is Rainbow. Obviously, Rainbow. I have this much left. You only need one skein. And today I am making this hat out of this one, which is called Jewel Tones. And there's pink. I love pink. And I'm just going to start out my circle here really quick and get started with the remnant that I have of this, even though I'm using a different color as I have that one almost done. So we start out with a magic circle and a three millimeter hook. I know that sounds crazy. Three millimeter hook and Red Heart Super Saver don't go together, right? Well, in order to keep this from being a big enough to cover your car, we need to go down to a three millimeter hook to keep these stitches nice and sturdy and your hat holds its shape. Normally it's a five and a half millimeter. We're using a three and it will work beautifully. So let's make our magic circle. Wrap. In case you're not familiar with the magic circle or a magic ring, I have a really tiny three minute video and I bet Derek can put it right here. My editor is really good at that stuff. All right, so we start out with our magic circle and in our magic circle we want to put in eight single crochets. Let's mark that first stitch because you know I love my stitch markers. Saves a lot of counting for me and I already, Derek thinks I already count too much anyway so why not save yourself a few counts. All right, eight single crochets. There's number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. All right, so here's our eight single crochets and here's the magic part of our magic ring. Pull, nice and tight, and our magic circle is closed. And we want to work in a spiral here. We're not going to do a slip stitch and a chain one and make different rounds. What we're going to do is just keep working in a spiral. So in our marked stitch, we are going to do an increase we are doing two single crochets into each stitch. So there's my first stitch has two in it. I'm moving my stitch marker. Go back to one and two. And every stitch gets two single crochets. So we're increasing from eight to 16. I see it automatically change colors for me right here and there's number 15 and 16. So there's round two. Easy peasy. Round three still working in a spiral. We're going to increase one more time. So when you do the next increase it's a single crochet in the first stitch. Move our stitch marker and then an increase. So there's two single crochets in the next stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. A single crochet and then an increase of two in the same stitch. A single crochet and two in the same stitch. All the way around. And here is my last set. There is a single crochet and two in the very last stitch. go. That was round three. We have increased up to 24. Now here's the next tricky one. In order to keep, whoops, let's pull this a little bit tighter 
there. Now my magic circle is completely closed. Give it a little tug if it starts to open up. You just pull a little bit more. Easy peasy. So here's the tricky part. Okay, it's not tricky. So we're going to keep this lying flat and I have a video for that which can come right here. It's my perfect circle that stays flat. Our next, normally you would think we was going to go two single crochets and then an increase, but I'm going to jump up to three. So I'm increasing from 24 to 30. So I'm going to do a single crochet. And then two more. So it's three single crochets before you increase. One, two, and three. And then two in the same stitch. And again the same thing. One, two, three, and an increase of two in the same stitch. All the way around. And here's my last set. So I've got three single crochets in a row. And then my last stitch gets two. And the reason we did that is so that this doesn't get that little tiny poof that sometimes you get. We want it to stay as flat as possible so it won't have a little poof in the middle. And it works because 24 is divisible by 8 and by 6. So now we're doing 6 increases all the way around instead of 8. So we started with 8 in our magic circle, increased to 16, increased to 24, and then I changed it up. We increased only to 30, which is very important to keep this nice and flat. All right, so round five, we are going to do four single crochets in between each increase. So last time we did three. So now we're going to do four. However, I'm going to split these two. I'm going to do two here. There's one. There's this one single crochet and two. To keep this from looking like a hexagon, we don't want that. And the other two will end up being the very last ones I do. So I did one, two, and then our increase. Two in the same stitch. And now we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and an increase of two in the same stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around and an increase. Alright, here will be my next set. One, two, three, four, and my increase, two in the same stitch. And now I have two stitches left which match up with the other two on the other side that we started with. So we staggered our we staggered our increases so it doesn't end up looking like a hexagon. We don't want the top of our hat to look like a hexagon. We want it to be round. So now this is going to stay very round, just like you can see right here. Very round, not obviously pointy. We don't want it to be pointy. So every time that there's an even number of stitches in between your increases, that's when you want to do the stagger, stagger and split your stitch. So round six is single crochet in the first one and move our stitch marker. And now five stitches, five single crochets in between each increase. So there's number one, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll do an increase. One, two. Two in the same stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. Five single crochets in a row. And an increase. Two stitches in the same stitch. All the way around. Three, four, five, and my increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. 
And here we go. That was round six. We just increased up to 42. Now round seven, we have an even number of stitches in between our increases. So we are going to split it up. There's six stitches in between our increases. So I'm going to do three of them at the beginning. One, two, and three and put in my stitch marker in that very first stitch right here and then do my increase two single crochets in the same stitch and now we'll continue on with that with our normal number of one two three four five and six and then our increase. So six single crochets in a row and then an increase. And my last full grouping. So there's six single crochets in a row. Two, three, four, five, six, and our increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. And then now we have our last one, two, three to match up with the one, two, three that we used at the beginning to stagger our increases. One, two, and three. To keep it round and not a hexagon. We do not want it to be a hexagon. So that was round seven. We had six single crochets in between each of our increases. We want to keep increasing that number in between our increased stitches every round. So this next one would be, let's see, you guess it, yep, seven. Seven in between our increases. So go. there's our first stitch. There's two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then our increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. And that is our sequence all the way around. And there's my last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven one stitch left so that is my increase of two singles in the same stitch so that was round eight we increased up to 54. and round nine is an even number of single crochets in between our increases so we want to do half at the beginning and half at the end eight in between each increase so we do four at the beginning one two, three, and four, and then our increase. Two singles in the same stitch. As remember, it's an even number in between our increases, so the other four will be at the end to stagger out our increases. So now we get to do our full eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then our increase of two in the same stitch. And keep going all the way around until you get to the end. And it'll be my last set of, last complete set of eight stitches in between my increases. And my red just showed up. Yay! We get to change colors again. We don't even have to think about it. It just changes colors for us automatically, which is kind of fun. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And our increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. And then you should have four stitches left. One, two, three, four to complete this set of eight. Remember, we started with four. One, two, three, and four.
when that was round nine, we increased up to 60. We had eight single crochets in between each one of our increases. We want to continue increasing by one. So the next round would be nine single crochets in between each increase. We want to keep going until we have a completed round of 14 single crochets in between each increase. And remember on the even numbered ones, split right here at the beginning at the end so that we can stagger out our increases so we don't have a big hexagon. So when you get all the way out to 14 stitches in between each increase, it will be about this big. And see it's flat. It doesn't have this little poof in the middle, which you can kind of get sometimes with that extra round. See, it's nice and flat. So this is how big we want it to be. Now this one is 96 stitches all the way around. There are 14 single crochets in between each increase, but since that was an even number, 14 and a half is seven. So there's seven at the beginning and seven at the end to stagger out our increases so it stays round. It is not a hexagon. Yay, no hexagon. So that was all the way through round so 15. So round 16 is where we change it up a little bit. We're going to go from 96 to 100. So we need to add four stitches. So what we're going to do is single crochet and put our marker back in. And we're going to single crochet 23 and then do an increase. And we'll do that four times, which takes us up four stitches to get to 100. So there's one, two, that's 21, 22, and 23. 23 single crochets, and then an increase, two in the same stitch. And do that all the way around. That's 21, 22, 23, one stitch left, two in the same stitch as our increase, and now we're at 100 stitches. All the way around, 100 stitches. So that was again 23 stitches in between our increases. All right, so there is the top of our hat. Yay! Here's the top of our hat, and here's the top of the other hat. Hooray! Now the next 15 rounds are super simple. All you do is single crochet each one of these 100 stitches all the way around for 15 rounds. So get your clicker out and count 15 rounds of just regular single crochet, one in every stitch, all the way around for 15 rounds. And what you will get is this. Nice and flat on the top. And nice and sturdy on the sides and it's holding its shape and these colors are turning out great. I am so excited. Remember we started out with this one and then we're turning it into our gorgeous hat. All right, so that was the last 15 rounds. We are now through round 31. Round 32 is still pretty simple. We're going to single crochet all the way around just like we were before, but we want to do that in the front loop only. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker in the front loop only. So not through the whole stitch, just through, just under this first loop right here. And single crochet. And mark that stitch and do every stitch exactly the same way. Single crochet in the front loop only. Single crochet in the front loop only all the way around. And there's the last few of my front loop only all the way around. And there's number 100. There we go. So we just flare that out a little bit so we can start at the very first round of our of our brim. See, it helps it flare out a little bit. But you can see it's 
kind of forcing itself out just a little bit. So that was round 32. There's only 42 in the whole hat, so we're almost done. Round 33, we're going to increase up to 120. So we're going to, let's move our stitch marker, single crochet one and put the stitch marker back. And we're going to have four stitches in between each one of our increases. Now since that's even number, we're going to do two, one and two, and an increase. Two in the same stitch. And then do one, two, three, and four. And then an increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. All the way around until you come right back out over here. And I'll meet you in just a minute. There's one, two, three, four, and an increase of two in the same stitch. And there's our last two stitches that complete that first increase. So we staggered our increases again. Last two stitches. Yay! Now we increased up to 120 and that was round 33. See it's starting to flare out just a little bit but not crazy. Just like it is here. Awesome. Now the next two rows, easy, super simple. Rounds 34 and 35 are a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just 120 easy peasy regular old single crochets for two rounds all the way around and I will meet you when I get done with both of my rounds. And here's my last few stitches. Round 35 which was just single crochets all the way around. There were two rounds of those, remember. And there, yay! Two rounds with no increases. There we go, yay! Now round 36 is another increase round. And we're going to have 11 stitches in between our increases which means we just start out with our 11. We don't have to stagger because it's an odd number. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 and then our increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. We're going to use that all the way around. That ends up increasing up to 130 stitches with 11 stitches in between our increases. So I'll meet you when I get back over here. And here's number 9, 10, 11, and my last increase, two singles in that same stitch for this round, which is round 36. Our increase is flaring it out a little bit more. We're almost there. We're getting so close. Round 37 and round 38 are super simple. Just like we did before, in between our increase rounds there, we're going to just do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for two rounds. So rounds 37 and 38, it's just single crochet like this, all the way around. Two rounds. No increases, just regular single crochets. And I'll meet you when I'm done with both of mine. And here I am at the end of round 38, just single crochets all the way around. There we go, yay! We are so almost done. We are so almost done with our awesome hat. Great? I love this hat. I love this pattern. Alright, so 
Round 39 is really easy. We're going to do another increase round. And this one is 12 stitches in between each of our increases. So that means we have to split our 12, six on this side and six on this side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll do our increase of two in the same stitch. And then we continue on with our 12 stitches in between increases until you get to your very last six over here. One, two, Eleven, whoops, eleven and twelve, and then two in the same stitch for an increase. We're going to do that all the way around, and that will increase us up to 140 stitches total all the way around. I'll meet you when I get back over right about here. And there's eleven and twelve an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six to complete this set of 12. There's six more stitches at the very end. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh. There's six. Bam. There. And we did our last increase. That's our last increase round. So the rest of it is pretty simple. No more increasing. We just have a couple, three more, three more rounds to do. So single crochet in that very first stitch. Move our stitch marker. And just like we did before, the next two rounds are just a single crochet in every stitch all the way around for two rounds. Those will be rounds 40 and 41. This is round 39 that I just finished. So rounds 40 and 41 are just single crochets. I'll meet you when I am done both, both of my rounds of single crochets. And here we are, the end of round 41. I've completed my two rounds of single crochet and we're almost done. That looks awesome. Love these colors. Oh, one more round to go, guys. That's it. All we need to do now is round 42. I'm going to take out my stitch marker and we are just going to do a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through all the way around. Yarn over and pull through your loop that was on your hook. Just a slip stitch makes a beautiful finished edge. You've probably seen me do that many times because I think that makes a great finished edge on the brim of a hat. I love it. So I'll meet you when I get back to my stitch marker. And here's our last few stitches for the best bucket hat ever. It's so easy peasy and it is so beginner friendly. A couple more slip stitches and I'm ready to fasten off my yarn. Yay! I'm all done. We're just going to go into our first stitch that we marked with the blue and finish this off.
doesn't that look awesome? Now I just take this end right here and weave it in. All you need is one skein of Ogo Red Heart Super Saver, a three millimeter hook, and you've got yourself a very cute, very sturdy, holds itself in place bucket hat. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.